So now we're going to talk about the catalyst slot sequencer, which is our fancy metronome. Now, it's represented here as click one and click two. And unlike a normal click track where you just have it plays one or two sounds, you have a whole variety of sounds that it can play. So let me load in something. I'm going to call in a, a catalyst um, in the uh, So here's the kit, which is a session. You put it in here, and it loads in this sequence, which, by the way, you can also go to a sequence file. And let's say we're going to find that same file, uh, Indian 5, somewhere. I don't know. OK. And if I put it here, it will load up in there. And then it will change this. And what this is, this represents what you are seeing here and here. This represents a time. And there are 16 slots. Each slot can have up to eight uh, notes. And the uh, bottom can have 16th, eighths, quarter notes, halves, rest, and triplets. So if I look at the screen right now, I have a 1 8 bar. I have two 1 16ths. I have one 1 16th. So that is the, the, um, so that is the rhythm. 1, 1, 2, 1. And this one here is the same thing. 1, 1, 2, 1, both playing the same. But the notes that I'm playing, note 56 is the beginning of the slot sequence. Then any note that goes down from that slot plays this third sound. And whenever you get to the next slot, it plays this sound. So let me show you what that sounds like. Slow down the tempo and play it. Whoops. Ah, OK, so we're not hearing it. And why wouldn't we hear it? Because I didn't prepare. What you have to do is make sure that when you go to your sessions folder, that you've routed where you want the sound to go. So I want the slot sequence not to go to loop B1, which is another synth, but I want to play the internal sound engine of the computer just to hear the click track. So now I do that. And now when I click it, but now you say, why is it playing a piano sound? We're trying to hear some drum stuff. In general MIDI, it's always on channel 10. So let me go here and change it all to 10. Let me. Let me shut this off a second. So now you're hearing this rhythm. Now, there are some other factors that are going on. And one has to do with the probability that when the note is supposed to play, is it going to play that note or not? Just let me change this so you hear a little sound different. OK. Now, if I take this and I say the probability is 30%, see, so it changes. Now, if I do this, it gets even a little bit more. So, we, so we, besides playing this pattern, there's another thing called the syncopation grid. And in this case, it's 16th note. So this is four, uh, four 16th notes, eight. So it's one, two, three, four, five. And um, when you see this green light, that means it's on. And you do it by right clicking or left clicking. And you determine the, it's the set by clicking here. So this is a 5 4 bar. And when I play it, it's going to play a bass drum. Now you notice also, if you listen carefully, the um, velocity of the sound changes because I'm having 
these little um, changes, it, it goes from minimum to maximum, and then maximum back down to mix, a, a minimum, so that you get some variations in it. So it doesn't sound exactly the same. So if I do the same now to the second one, let me play the second one for you. First, I'll play it so that you don't have any mute probability at all. So that's the rhythm, and it gets louder and softer because of the minimum maximum that I'm setting. But if I start setting some variations up, okay, so now, if I get them both to play at the same time, and you can hit two different pads, or you can sign one pad to the same MIDI note number, and I'm going to do this. So the metronome has a little bit um, of variations in it, and you can keep on changing it to make it more and more. So that's how the metronome works, and this is all for preparation for actually creating your own sequence. So the goal now is to start making some sequences to learn how to get combinations of the syncopation grid, which is one sound, which doesn't have mute probabilities, and these two separate metronomes that does have mute probabilities. So there's three notes here, three notes here, six, so there's seven notes in our metronome to make it sound more fun to play with. Um, when I show you this in in contact, not on this computer, but in, in the studio downstairs later, you'll hear um, uh, these rhythms, uh, some more musical, because I'm not using the general MIDI banger in the computer. So this is the slot sequencer, as or the uh, fancy metronome that is here. <laughs> 